Welcome everybody to Morningstar Aquatics YouTube channel. I am Nate. Today we're going to start a series of videos on how to build an overflow box on the cheap. Uh, it'll pretty much look just like these, uh, but yet double the capacity and way cheaper. Um, we can probably pull this off for less than $50. Uh, but it'll double the capacity of what some of these do and you'll get more accomplishment out of building your own equipment I like to build as much of my equipment as I possibly can versus going out and having to buy them it comes out much cheaper but let's get started with this and like I said welcome back everyone seen in the intro we're going to make an overflow box this is going on my 60 gallon saltwater aquarium um, so I started out getting some measurements off of another saltwater aquarium overflow box and what we're going to do is the standard 24 by 36 by 0 0.177 uh, plexiglass that I've been getting you know before and I showed in my last video we're going to use that to make this overflow box out of. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, the measurements I took, we're gonna translate them to the plastic or the plexiglass and get everything measured up. So all we have to do is start cutting. So let's get started with that. So we've got everything marked out. We've got each one of our pieces marked out to where we can cut them up and piece all this together. Now, these two holes, I don't know how well you can see it, but these will have a purpose here in just a little bit. But the way this mainframe is going to work is this is going to be your back of the front or the back of the inside and the back of the tank. This is what's going to overlap your side of your tank. Bottom, right side, and left side. I'll draw a diagram all of this out and put it on a um, on a uh, picture to uh, post at the end of end of the video or somewhere in there. Uh, this is your front sides for the back and for the front. Um, all we're going to do we're going to cut these out. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you is I made a mismeasurement. Well, I didn't add enough on these lines here. I'm going to come to the outside of these, and you should think of this whenever you're doing it as well. Come to the outside, because if you don't and you cut dead on the line, it's going to make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to come to the outside of each one of these and make it to where they're their proper size. I'll just run the outside line, and it should be fine. But let's get that done, and then we'll move on. So I was telling you all earlier in the video that these two holes in this uh, front and rear plate, well, the rear plate for the, the actual overflow box is uh, going to come in handy. This is what we're going to use it for. Now, you'll see more as I go, but this here is going to make it to where I can wedge this over this plate and uh, be able to get it to where it'll fold over the top. Now, what you'll do is you're just going to put a couple of wood screws into this to help hold it stable. Well, look at me. I'm going to end up breaking it. But just to hold it stable. Now, let's get this lined up here. Now, pick the one up that I dropped on the ground, or flung on the ground. Make sure your measurements of what you got on each side is correct. Because if not, it will be one longer than the other. Alright, so see now it's stable. So what we're going to do, is since we have that screwed down, normally I don't do this until it's time to put it together. But considering what I'm fixing to do, hey, that works out pretty good. But at the same time. Now, this 
is where it gets fun. Take your heat gun. Just start walking back and forth. Don't concentrate on one spot. Get the plexiglass good and hot. Okay, now, see it's starting to get malleable, it's starting to flex. So all you're going to do is slowly push while you're slowly going over it. Don't get in a hurry. You get in a hurry, you're going to screw it up. So just keep slowly mashing it down. Okay, this is a good spot for me to tell y'all that that is a 2x4 that I have mounted that to. Uh, it's just the perfect width to go over the top of the tank uh, with a little bit of extra play. To what the camera time may have took, but this didn't take as long as it looked it did. But once you get it hot, you've got to... Make sure your measurements are right. Make sure that this side is equal to the closeness of the board as well as the other side. Now, our score lines that I showed you in one of my previous videos from where I used a razor blade to score it, uh, that's helping me make sure that my loop is right. All right, so now I've got that. I'm gonna make sure my measurements is right on each side and okay so it's setting flush now now I'm gonna just sit and wait for it to cool now both sides are uh, basically heated brought down square distance is the same on both sides so now you just take your screws out now these screws are going to be hot the heat gun warmed all these now perfectly square these two holes here now what these are also going to be used for is go to Lowe's pick you up some white nylon screws we're going to put those down I ain't going to do it today but we're going to put those down through those two holes there's a purpose behind that Say this is the side of your tank. When you drop out on the side of your tank, what if your weir is too low? Now, there's no real way of telling where you want your water. With those nylon screws, you put them through, screw them down. As you screw them down, it pulls your weir up out of the water. So you can adjust your water level. We're also going to on this back box, say so this is the back side of the box on the outside of the tank, we're going to put a small piece of plexiglass with a hole in it to where it's on the bottom of this panel. We're going to put that small piece of plexiglass with the same size hole in it and we're going to put a nylon screw underneath. That'll make it to where, say, when you drop it in, you want it level with the side of your tank, you'll be able to screw that screw in and it'll draw it away from the tank or tilt it in it'll just have it more stable okay so we're actually going to make a part two probably a part three to this video um, but what we're going to do now is we still have our back piece that we just got through with we're going to start gluing these together gluing it together in part two but one of the things that we need to do is um, if we want that professional look plus and all of that we don't want no gaps because this is going to be holding water so any little rough edges is probably going to, you know, make it a little difficult for the pieces to go together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty old uh, Bader sander that was made out of a old 79 Winnebago, and uh, we're going to smooth these edges down. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out for part two, and uh, we'll uh, get back to getting this thing put together.